Dodging and burning is one of the most key effects when it comes to editing a photograph. It allows us to control where the bright tones are and where the dark tones are. This giving a more pleasing visual experience for the viewer. This is the new Easy Dodge and Burn panel. It's been completely rewritten from the ground up and is fully compatible with versions 24 and newer of Adobe Photoshop. The panel is extremely easy to use. It offers two sections. The top section will allow us to control the shadows and highlights and we can do that by choosing from one of the presets which are here under the drop down menu. In the particular case of the lighting we can choose to lighten the shadows or the highlights by a, by a given amount. And again, if we want to darken the shadows or highlights, we can do that under the darken option. And again, we can darken the shadows and the highlights by a specific amount. In addition to the shadows and highlights, we now have a dodge and burn section, which allows us to target either the top, the bottom, the left hand part of the image, or the right hand part of the image and we can apply this to either the dodge or a burn. If we want to add a black or a white layer mask to that adjustment we can do that by selecting one of these options. Along with targeting the top, bottom, left or right we can control how much of that effect is going to be applied to the image by selecting a gradient coverage amount and we can go all the way from 10% of the image all the way to a maximum of 90%. As well as targeting the coverage through the gradient, we have a choice now where we can choose what style of gradient will be applied to that adjustment. We can go with the traditional perceptual, which is the new gradient method, which was introduced in versions 22 of Photoshop, or we can choose the classic method, or if we want a harder transition between where the gradient ends, we could choose the linear method. So for example, I'm going to start by applying a darkening effect to the shadows. And I'll do that by choosing one of the presets under the darken drop down menu. The darken and lighten presets now are fully 16 bit luminosity masks. So this gives, a, gives us a nice transition from where that selection ends. So I'm going to choose darken by 50, a value of 50 in the shadows. And we'll see that the shadows have now been darkened. As I said previously, this is, is a luminosity mask darkening effect. So it gives us that nice transition across the adjacent tones. We don't suddenly beget an abrupt end. So it's only targeting the shadows. Now that we've burnt the shadows in by 50, I'm going to now apply one of these presets underneath. And I think I'm going to choose to burn the bottom section of the image. So the first thing that I need to do is decide how far up the image I want to produce that burn effect. So I think I'm going to go about between about 30 and 40 percent. So I'll go about 37 percent. I'm going to choose a gradient method. I like the perceptual because it gives a nice pleasing effect. We get a nice transition from where that gradient ends as it fades into nothing. So perceptual is fine. All that I need to do now is choose the appropriate option, which in this case is going to be burn and we're going to burn the bottom. So we can now see that the bottom of the image has been burnt in. We've got a layer opacity option if we want to slightly reduce the overall effect of that burn. And I think that's looking quite good. So that's the before and that's the after. If I feel that there are parts of that adjustment that don't want to be affected, this is where I would add a layer mask, in this case a black layer mask, it will automatically select the brush and change the foreground color to white. And this will allow me now to burn in manually the effect using the paintbrush and the appropriate opacity of the brush. So I might only want the effect to be applied in this area. 
and this has been applied to this traditional mask. We can burn or dodge the top, bottom, left or right and all we need to do is choose the appropriate gradient and the gradient method. So the Easy Dodge and Burn panel is extremely easy to use and it gives us some very accurate results if we want to target certain parts of the image by using one of the built-in presets. So the version 3 of the Easy Dodge and Burn panel is now available on the website and I will leave a link for that in the description below. So until next time, thank you for watching and bye for now.